Hello again from Kingston. Behind me, Sousa Ready Mix have their concrete truck and curbing machine in full action. One of the highlights this week. Let's watch the update together to see what else happened. Thanks again for watching. I thought it was worth beginning this week with an overview of the East End, where a great deal has been changing very quickly. An enormous amount of work has gone into preparing the roadway that will be the continuation of Gore Road from the bridge. Workers from Sousa Ready Mix have been regular visitors to the site, preparing forms, pouring concrete into the median, and forming curbs. In a sure sign of work to come, the link belt crane, which has been a staple of the West End, was moved to the east abutment, and forms to pour concrete began to assemble. Familiar and friendly faces from decast concrete appeared this week too, with concrete slabs destined for the two girder sections on the east end. Delivered on Monday, many of the slabs would find their way on the bridge by week's end. On what started as a very wet Friday, a shipment of the pipes that drain water from the bridge was delivered. There was little or no delay in installing them. On the other side of the coin, Tomlinson, who had discovered drain pipes surplus to requirements, shipped them out. The pace of installation of reinforcing rod on the steel bridge demanded yet another delivery by Pichet Transport this week. The amazing work on reinforcing steel by ABF continues to be impressively evident. No discussion of the East End would be complete without looking at Tomlinson's remarkable pipe crew. They have been battling rock and playing in traffic for several weeks. But they were able to close most trenches on Highway 15 this week and it may have been their last on the site. If that's the case, they will be very fondly remembered. But now it's time to shift our attention to the West End. Just two and a half of the 17 spans await receipt of the concrete slabs that form the first layer of the deck. And the second solid concrete layer is now up to the ninth span. The outside concrete wall for the vehicle lanes on the north side of the bridge is now up to the sixth span. And on Wednesday, the section connecting the side wall to the west abutment was poured. A notable event occurred on Tuesday, when the first of the buggies that hang over the bridge to allow work to be conducted was installed. But there's little doubt that recently, the emphasis has been on the east end and the steel structure. So let's look at it from a rather unusual angle. It's a view that only boaters generally enjoy, but it does show off very well the complex structure of reinforcing steel under the span. And that brings us neatly 
to the wildlife. I think you'll agree that was a pretty full week again. Be sure and uh, subscribe to get notifications of each update. And once again, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Bye now.